So we are about to head into our first level of the game, which is Jellyfish Fields. And keep in mind that I will be doing one recording per level. As if the recording takes too long. Well, if it takes longer than an hour, then I'll split it into parts. Let me just collect a few shiny objects. And then head into Jellyfish Fields. Alright then, we're about to head into Jellyfish Fields. Or as a fun fact, I did playtest the level Jellyfish Fields in Battle for Bikini ah, Bottom Rehydrated green hills at PAX East. Jellyfish Fields, a place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. You better want to watch out for Jellyfish. And oh no, Squidward's being chased by a robot. He's being surrounded by jellyfish. And he got stung by one. Squidward, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual, because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy, and oh my gosh, you're bald! I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King j j Jellyfish! Well, I guess you're off to scale Sport Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here, balled up here in excruciating pain. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward. I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself. So Squidward got sung by Jellyfish. And now it is Spongebob's job to bring some King Jellyfish Jelly for him to rub all over himself, all for Squidward. And this is what happens when you talk to him again. Ow, so ow, did you ow, find the ow, King Jelly, ow, fish. My bad, I thought it was done talking. But I don't think you need to hear that again. And there are some signs which give us helpful hints. Like this is the goo. SpongeBob and Patrick can't swim, so don't let them fall in the goo. And you also do play as Sandy in this game. You never said anything about Sandy not swimming. As this is a teleport box. We have both of the teleport boxes open in the area. You may teleport between them by jumping inside. It says you may use this teleport box once both boxes have been opened up. We can't jellyfish today. I'm going fishing for robots. As this is unlike in Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. Or instead of catching jellyfish, you actually bubble spin them. As this game will give us reminders and here are our first robots which is the fodder. As also when I went to PAX East. I did play test Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. 
and it was only the jellyfish fields level. And the HD graphics look a lot better than the original. And that's saying something. And here's one of Patrick's lost socks. And now there are a few more shiny objects to get. Where there are some right here. Well, this here's the only one here. And then once we go up top here, we can go on this, I forget what it's called. Some kind of flower which bounce on, or coral. Now corals are different, so. I'm just gonna call this an underwater flower. And then just like in Spyro, we have to feed the clam 125 shiny objects to complete the bridge. Just like what we pay money bags, gems, and Spyro. So yes, I will pay the clam 125 shiny objects. And now we gotta drop the load. But the clam is a good kind of money bags. As it doesn't taunt Spongebob just like what money bags taunt Spyro. Or whatever he does to him. And this is a checkpoint. If you're defeated after ch activating a checkpoint, you will restart to the last checkpoint. Which you pass instead of the beginning of the area. Which makes it pretty interesting. Well just like any other game. Well almost like any other game. Because who would want to start from the beginning of the level? And then what do we have here? This is Freezy Fruit. Only Patrick can use it. So yeah, we do get to play as Patrick in this game. Only in some levels you play as Patrick, in some levels you play as Sandy. Along with Spongebob, that is. And let's see what we can get from here. Just some shiny objects. And now what we can do is go across here to go to that button. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Then some barrels appear which we can get across. Oh, that was a close one. Almost fell down in the goo. And here's one of Patrick's lost socks. And oh yeah, here's a purple shiny object which is worth 50. And now we can bounce back to where we came from. And now over here, with some um, tiki's, will be pretty interesting to get some more shiny objects. Can I just miss a shiny object? And of course, just like in Ratchet and Clank, you don't really have to gather all of the 
tiki zor shiny objects. They just help you to get more to pay some clams and all that stuff. And over here is a cannon. Shoots out what looks like puff of fish. What we can do is just bubble spin this cannon to destroy it. And look over here, it's Gary. Hey Gary, what's shaking? And he shows us a bungee hook. Wow, a bungee jump for a golden spatula! I must be in heaven! Yeah, you must be in heaven. Because over here is a bungee hook. As Spongebob can bungee jump from it. You just jump up and touch it, and then to dive downward press A, and then to exit press B. That's simple. That's what he always says. When he enters the bungee hook. As you guys help the fourth golden spatula of the game. Oh, you said it, Gary. That's what Gary says. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. And now some platforms appear, so we can get across. Just my side. And then once we go here, we go to our checkpoint and what robot could this be? It's a robot who hits himself. And it's known as Hammer. Get it because he's using a hand, which looks like a hammer. And then let me just defeat those robots over here. So yeah, anyway, Battle for Bikini Bottom is a good game. But when Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated comes out, I'm not even planning to do, of doing a walkthrough of it. As the same thing goes to the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy and the Spyro Reignited Trilogy. No, oh yeah, the same thing also goes to Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. Which I don't really know if I'm gonna do a walkthrough of Crash Team Racing. Both the original and the remastered. Well, Crash Team Racing is the first game that I've ever played. But I don't really know if I'm gonna do a walkthrough of it. Well, because it's a racing game. There's adventure mode, but maybe I can do a walkthrough of it. Cause I just miss a sign. As SpongeBob needs to know the bubble bowl move in order to play this game. As when you press this button, a bunch of bowling pins appear, and one of Patrick's lost socks will come down. So yeah, the bubble bowl is the move that we'll unlock later in this game once we get to a new part of Bikini Bottom. 
Then there's also the cruise bubble, which we'll get into, which we'll unlock once we get into the third part of Bikini Bottom. Anyway, we're going to continue on here. There are a bunch of these tiki's that are floating. And then the sign has to mention the, about the goo again. I don't know why that's there twice, but... I already know what I'm doing. As the hammer robot already fell into the goo, Robots also can't swim. They'll get electrocuted. And then turn evil. That's the thing about robots in general. They turn evil once they're electrocuted. Over here, here are the underwater flowers. We must do is bounce on them. And once you get across, over to that jellyfish rock, well that rock shaped like a jellyfish, you get one of Patrick's socks. Then you can use this to go back where you came from. As we're not done yet. What you can do is go on this underwater flower. And then here's one of Patrick's lost socks. Which I didn't even know existed when I was a kid. I probably never even got all of Patrick's socks when I was a kid. But I did later on. As I can complete this game 100%. Another find for Patrick! And now we can get across from the seesaw. And once you go in at this teleport box, it teleports you to back where you came from. Let's talk to Squidward again just to see the whole, just to hear the whole dialogue again. Ow, so ow, did you ow, find the ow, king jelly, ow, fish, yet, ow. I was never able to finish it for the first time, so that's why I'm talking to him again. Now over here is a duplicate of Tron 1000. It'll continue to create robots until it's destroyed. Be careful though, as you try to destroy it, it goes out with a big bang. Nothing related to the Big Bang Theory, which already has its final season. I never even watched the Big Bang Theory anyway. And of course, my favorite TV show is Friends. I feel like a new sponge. And over here is this button, which opens the gate to get the golden spatula. Then we can go to Jellyfish Caves. We don't start off by going to the caves, but here's where we'll start off in this part of the level. Wow, Mermaid Man! I have all your comics and toys and mail. Hey, huh? What? 
Oh, yeah, it's that sponge kid. And now, what was I supposed to tell you? That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help. Huh? Oh, no. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must! Help! They're making me hit myself! Massaging your feet isn't working. I think I'd better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Here I come, Patrick! As Mermaid Man is an elder and all he says is something that's unrelated to what Spongebob is about to do as when you talk to Mermaid Man again Here I come Patrick! All Spongebob is saying here I come Patrick and over here Here I come Patrick! I was actually gonna read this sign as this is a slide when Spongebob, Patrick, or Sandy jump onto a slide they will zip down the slope at hydrodynamic speeds. As for Spongebob, he looks to slide, just like in the episode pre-hibernation. Or pre-hibernation week. I don't know, it's been a while since I watched Spongebob. Over in this path, you do see a saw. I should do it again sometime. Then you do get another sock once you climb up well jump up to this part of the platform on this pedestal. And then what you can do is use this box to go down the slide again. Well to teleport here if you want to go down the slide again. I do want to get myself some more tiki's. Well, I just wanted to... I just wanted to teleport back where I came from. Not to go down the slide again, but just to... Try and see if I can go back where I came from. Which I know is... Will happen. Which I know just happened. But anyway... The music changes into a battle, a robot battle song, or some robot battle music. Did you also hear this? Once you battle a new boss in the level. So anyway, this part of the level wasn't featured in the playtesting of Battle for the Blue Bottom the Hydrated at Minpax East. It was the Jellyfish Fields Rock and where you battle King Jellyfish. And by the way, here's a button to help get across to Patrick. Anyway, PAX East was fun. There was a lot of things like playtesting games and meeting some some game companies. And oh no, I just fell. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. That was not part of the game plan. Let me just try this again. As I was talking about Pax East. But talking about Pax East was unrelated about me falling into the goo. Oh 
our main job is to destroy the robots, destroy the duplicatorons to defeat the robots. Oh come on! Why do I keep getting hit? Button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Now we now the platforms came out. As we can now get to Patrick. And now once you go up to Patrick. Hey SpongeBob! My goodness, you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? Well, the robot and the... Oh, yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. Well, of course, because it's a golden spatula. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. And I can start to play as Patrick. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. was one of the three playable characters in this game, along with Spongebob and Sandy. And this is a fr throw fruit. If Patrick can pick it up and throw it. It can push buttons, destroy tiki's, or damage robots. But you have to use it quickly because it can wilt after a few seconds. What we can do is throw this throw fruit on this button. But before I move along to this part of the level, before we go to Jellyfish Caves, I'm going to go back to get one of Patrick's socks by using a freeze fruit. This is what happens when Patrick talks to Mermaid Man. Oh, Mermaid Man! You're like a big heroic prune! Prunes! What? Where? Patrick brings up the prunes oh, and... He went boom! And then Mermaid Man starts talking about... Where are the prunes? Anyway, let's go back to Jellyfish Rock. Has some throw fruits appear. Wow, jellyfish rock! I never thought I'd see it with my own eyes this week. And Patrick talks about jellyfish rock. Never thought he could see it with his own eyes. Cause let me show you where the freeze fruit is. Or we just pass it. So I better get across these robots. So only Patrick can use it and we can do is throw it onto the glue. And Patrick can use it to get across to go in the goo. As here's one of Patrick's lost socks. Well, let me just show you what happens when Patrick talks to Squidward. Hey Squidward! Go away Patrick, I'm waiting for Spongebob! I can't believe I just said that. Squidward doesn't want to wait for Spongebob. Or he doesn't like saying that. He doesn't even say ow. Well, Patrick was talking to him. So anyway, why don't we go back?
as we will go back into Jellyfish Rock. No, Jellyfish Caves. We are in Jellyfish Rock, by the way. And now we can go down the slide as Patrick. I do like going here better. Because there are more tiki's. Kaboom! Kaboom indeed. Because we have destroyed some of the tiki's. But anyway, what we're gonna do is... We'll knock out the robots, that, that's for sure. And now there are some directions on how to use the tiki's to throw them. You can also pick up and throw tiki's. But only tiki's that don't have other tiki's stack on top of them. So once you pick up a tiki, you can use it to throw in to another tiki. Like the one that's floating. Okay, why does it keep switching itself? out of tiki's to throw at that one or not since there are some more as this is a bus stop as you may switch between playing spongebob or playing patrick as bus stops or in some levels as sandy and yes patrick can throw fruit at up steps then climb up the steps do i really have to explain this and just Keep throwing at the steps before it wilts. What I want to do is throw this tiki onto this floating tiki. And this is what happens when you switch at bus stops. You can switch as SpongeBob or Patrick. If this is a bus stop, how does it drive? without a road. There's no road where the bus is traveling. Anyway, why don't we throw this throw fruit up the steps? I don't think we can pick it up from here. So let's try again. And this is special Patrick Teeter Totter that only Patrick can use. He can pick up a throw fruit and stand on the pink starfish side, then throw the throw fruit at the target side, as he can fly across the lake. Just like that. We are about to go into Jellyfish Cave soon. And over here is a Thunder Tiki. So when Patrick touches it, it'll begin to storm and after a few seconds it'll go boom. So you don't want to be near it after it goes boom. You can also pick up the Thunder Tiki to throw at those Tiki's over here. Or at the robots. And now who do we have hey, here? Hey, barnacle head! Watch where you're going! The rock is talking to me. Almighty oh, rock, I am at your command! Patrick thinks it's a talking rock, but he didn't look closer. Down here, you big pink lummox! 
Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? Why would Patrick want to be vaporized? So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. Heed my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket! Well then, will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop, making low-quality design and knock-off wallets. Oh, thank you! So Patrick wants to be vaporized. He can get killed by that. If you jump on the air and press the B button, yes, Patrick will slam down to the ground by using it to smash tiki's below him or buttons. <laughs> I push the big shiny button. Let me see what happens if I talk to Plankton again. Now into the caves before all this being helpful gives me a headache. As Plankton likes to be evil. Just like in the episode Walking Small. Where he doesn't like to be... Nice, well... He was building a mega bucket. At the... Uh, at Blue Lagoon and... He was like, need hatred at the end of the episode. But anyway, let's go into the caves. Ooh, scary dark caves. So shiny! As Patrick says, ooh, scary dark caves. What we can do is throw this tiki onto those other tikis over there. Let me see if I can get closer to that tiki. And what my favorite Spongebob episode is... I know about the throw fruit. Why do tutorials have to get in the way? Uh, anyway, about my favorite Spongebob episode... Well, I don't really know what my favorite episode is. As in seasons one through three, they are all good. Until season four came, and most of them aren't really that great. But I would say my favorite episode would be pre hibernation week, where SpongeBob. SpongeBob helps Sandy. by having some fun before Sandy goes into hibernation. And Spongebob couldn't take it anymore. So he tries to run away from Sandy. Anyway, these are the spikes. You better be careful not to touch them. Ouch! Bob's underwear fits quite right. So anyway, I don't want to go into any full detail of the my favorite episode. But anyway, SpongeBob seasons one to three is such a good series. Well, SpongeBob itself is a good series, but seasons one to three are better. And about this game, I did see reviews from the Stimpy Land, Some Call Me Johnny, and of course Batman. 
I don't really remember Batman's review of Battle for Bikini Bottom. But I've always been watching the Stimpyland's review of Battle for Bikini Bottom. The Stimpyland's channel is no more. As he does have a re-upload channel. Better be careful of those. What are they called? Volcano balls? Or volcano rocks? Oh. oh no. This is not good. I wanna try to get that underwear. Even though it's Spongebob's, Patrick and Sandy can still get him. <laughs> then over here, the weight of throw fruit will also activate pressure plates. But before I use the throw fruit on this pressure plate, I want to get that tiki over there. Because there's no way I can reach that underwear. So anyway, once we put this throw fruit on the pressure plate, the gate opens. Okay, that just interrupted me throw you can also jump on the throw fruit to get to higher places and you can even stack the throw fruit by throwing on top of another throw fruit which will allow Pat to into higher places and this gate just closed on me as I can't get back unless if I take a taxi from a golden spatula in the pause menu, that is. And what you can do is stack this throw fruit on top of another throw fruit. And over here, this is one of Patrick's lost socks. So we all get, I already got 12. There are a few more socks in this level. So we will be able to get them later on. I don't think that'll make me go anywhere. So we can do is stack up those throw fruits. And then we can slide down the slide as Patrick. Because I forgot to tell you that Patrick slides down. In a sliding position, that is. And I meant to do that. Just so that I can get those Thunder Tiki's. And now we can go back up. But we're not really going to go back up to the beginning of the slide. As this is a freezy fruit, you can pick up the freezy fruit and throw it. It'll temporarily freeze goo and you can slide on goo until it thaws. And over here on this goo. Have you been lonely out there all alone? We get one of Patrick's lost socks and a purple shiny object and a couple more shiny objects. Also over here, if Patrick belly flops near the robots, he can damage your stun them. Sm small robots can be defeated and larger robots can be stunned for a short period of time. Oh. 
And you always use throw fruits to defeat the robots. That's a lot of tutorials. And so defeating the robots if you go near one of those larger robots, you can send them, pick them up, and throw it on that on something. But first stunning the robots and picking them up and throwing them. That's only for the hammers. You can even pick up the robots he has stunned and throw them into other robots. It only works for hammer robots. It may work for maybe some other robots, but I don't know. I know it doesn't work for the other robots called the pilot sauce. You can just destroy that duplicate and try and get that golden spatula as fast as possible. And now we can go into Jellyfish Lake. 